How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make a really cool looking music visualizer. I've made a couple of these tutorials before, but there's some new things we learned. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle how to make a beautiful, nice looking and controlled music visualizer in Blender using geometry nodes, some shading and some lighting to make it just look awesome. In this whole tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Dell Precision 7770 mobile workstation. It's a, it's a monster of a computer. It's just very powerful. It's loaded up with the NVIDIA RTX A1000. It has NVIDIA RTX technology in it, just a really powerful low profile design for this really cool workstation. I know a lot of you love to use Blender's AI denoiser and this card is absolutely perfect for that. In this tutorial, you'll see how fast it works. Um, I've had this laptop for a couple months, zero complaints. I've used it quite a bit. Going to Starbucks, going to friends' houses, just needing to work. This is the laptop I bring and it's just awesome. Now in the description, you can check out the creator page where you can see all the really cool things about this. Check that out, highly encourage it. Now, let's get into this tutorial. All right, so we're using Blender 3.3. Uh, and what I'm gonna do first is make sure that my graphics card is working. So we're gonna use Optics. This is an RTX uh, graphics card from NVIDIA. So we have the advantage of Optics. Now we're gonna turn that on, make sure that's on. RTX A1000 and we have the 12th generation I, uh, core i9 CPU in this laptop as well. So what we're gonna need to do is make the two models that's gonna, gonna be present in this animation and conveniently it's gonna be curves. The, uh, the reason why that's convenient is you can edit it at any point. Um, it, this is completely non-destructive modeling. So I'll bring that in and we're gonna go here and go to the geometry and I'm gonna extrude this guy up. You see how it's kind of low poly. We're gonna go up here and on this resolution, both of these and then we'll go back here and that's probably thick enough, maybe too thick, we'll see. We'll go to our modifiers, add modifier, and we're gonna get a solidify and that's gonna bring this into here. Of course, it looks wonky and um, that's because it's shade smooth. So we need it to kind of benefit that with a bevel and then bring that amount to something like this and bring your segments to make it a little more high poly. I'm gonna leave it at five and then make it round to complement the next model. So I'm gonna hit G and move it over. And that round bevel is gonna complement this next curve, which is the same thing. Go to the curve settings, bring that resolution up. And then we're gonna go here to the depth, which is under the geometry section. Bring that depth up. And now you have these two objects um, to play with. I'm gonna just move them up. We don't even need to see them for the rest of the show. All right, now here we're gonna set up our plane. And then we're gonna hop over to geometry nodes and I'm gonna kill this window, never use it. And let's go ahead and get a mesh line. Mesh line, do that. I'm gonna delete that just to get it out of the way. And I'm gonna get a transform because we need to rotate this mesh line not to be up, but sideways. So I believe that's gonna be X rotation at 90 degrees. Now our mesh line is going this direction. So now this mesh line has points. Um, currently it has 10 points. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna instance on points. So shift A search, instance, on points right there. Now what you can do, these are two Bezier circles um, and you can name them. So this one we're gonna call disc and this one called round. I don't know, not the best name. So we'll go back to the plane uh, and I'm gonna hit the period key to go back. And then what I'm gonna do is just take, we're gonna start with the disc and you just drag it straight into the geometry nodes editor from the outliner up here, which is really nice and convenient. And you place it and I zoomed in too much. Here it is, all 10 of them. So what we're gonna do now is rotate those instances, if we can find the rotation, there it is, 90 degrees. So what we can do is, what we can do is on the Z, we can actually crunch them in together. So on the offset, we can actually bring them in and then let's say we'll add 50. Boom, now we have all of these pieces and that's pretty much the design. Uh, but what we need to do is animate them, make them go up and down, make it look like a waveform so we can use audio to influence it. And that's gonna be here on your scale. So what we're gonna do is get a map range and a noise texture. And we'll plug that there and we'll plug the result into the scale. And this is the bones of how to get this to work properly. But we need the other model. We need to use the other model to get this to look cool. Essentially, this is the whole idea. And then you'd go here to the 4D of the noise texture. And there you go. That's the idea. Um, but again, 
we need to split this up and make room for the other model. So what we're gonna do is get a separate geometry node. Uh, I mean, separate geometry. So right here, shift A, separate geometry, and we need something to drive the separation, which is gonna be a random value. Random value node. And then we'll go from float to Boolean, plug that value into the selection, and notice the probability, it's gonna say how much are we removing? And then the seed is gonna randomize your selection. So here's what we have here. We have this inverted. And what that inverted is gonna allow you to do, check it out, if we plug, we have selection here. If we plug inverted into points, that's the inverted, basically. Whatever's not there, that's the inverted. And the nice thing about that is we can use that to put the other models in there. So we need a join geometry. Oops, that's not a join geometry. Right there. And then we need to get a instance on points. So I'm just gonna duplicate this guy and we're gonna plug inverted into points and we're gonna drag in round, which is that kind of the other one we modeled, plug that into instance and plug that into the join geometry and bam, we have it. Now you notice it looks weird. And that's because we need to plug this map range, which is essentially the noise texture, into the scale of that instance on points. And now we have this lovely animation. Uh, I'm gonna actually go ahead and I'm gonna take the uh, round portion and I'm gonna take these guys and make them a little thicker. Sweet, that looks nice. Now let's go ahead and edit this map range to uh, make this look awesome. So two min, we're gonna do 1.6 and to max, negative 1.14, negative 1.14. Now we have this really cool looking thing. And then back up here on the mesh line, let's bring these guys a good amount closer. We don't want them to be so far wide out so that we can go back to this noise texture here. And that is our scene. So let's make this a music visualizer. How do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and, um, so what we need to do is just right on here on the W, hit I, and that's gonna make a keyframe. So what we need to do now is just bring this up and instead of bringing up a timeline, we need to bring up the graph editor. And what we need to do here is hit key, click, make sure you click on the noise texture, hit key, and then bake sounds to F curves, very important. And then I'm gonna go to my desktop, go ahead and pick any song you want. This is a song I got from Upbeat, which is a service I pay for to get royalty free music on the YouTube channel. So this isn't something that you can just download for free. Go ahead and just use whatever audio you want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And if I press play, it's working, but we can't hear it. So what we have to do is hit this little plus icon right over here and click on video editing and then video editing. And make sure you go back to frame one here and go to add sound desktop there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, my trusty headphones. And now we can hear it if we press play. So if I go say, let's add 3000 frames I don't really know how many frames long this song would be. It looks like it's less than that. So there's our song. And if we look at it now, we can see it's reacting to the song. But that's just wildly chaotic. So how do we kind of rein this in? How do we make this not so insanely chaotic? That is a trick I learned recently and is why I'm making this tutorial now. So what we need to do is go to the animation tab so we have our own little workspace for us. Bring this over. We're gonna go click here and go to the graph editor. And again, make sure that uh, that noise texture is selected. So here in the modifiers, we're gonna go add modifier and we're gonna go here and get an envelope. And that's already affecting it, you can see. But again, still too chaotic. So what we're gonna do here is click on, click add control point and that's gonna allow us to now see this. And if we just drag this, notice how this waveform is getting smaller. The larger the waveform, the more chaotic it's going to look. And so what we're gonna do is maybe to 0.6. And so you can just kind of play with that now. And 
Now, see how, see how nice that looks? We're gonna take it off. And then we'll put it back on. Now, maybe you prefer the chaos, but this is just much more controlled for my taste. Now, see it here at the beginning of the uh, audio, it actually looks great. But of course, once you get into chaotic audio waveforms, and that's really what you wanna control here. So those kick drums. And then again, you can bring that in some more, rein it in. So. And that is pretty much how you create an audio visualizer. Um, in terms of composition on this particular style, let's go ahead and get our camera, control alt zero, snap that to view, and I'm gonna hit G and middle click and bring it out, kind of like that. And then maybe hit R, like this. And you can use EV and cycles. That won't change anything. Uh, we can go ahead and light this. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go and get a background. We're gonna do RY90, move it way back. And then we're just gonna go ahead and position this background like so. Now, here's the part where this computer really shines is the ability to kind of edit and see things accurately while you're working. Again, so we're gonna go from EV to cycles. Now you can use this in EV if you'd like. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to the GPU, make sure that GPU is selected, which is the RTX A1000 on this laptop. I'm gonna do 32 on my viewport. We're gonna do 500 here. Um, and then here on the light path, so I'm just gonna click and drag and do one. And this currently is optimizing so that we're, we can see things clearly and we're not doing any unnecessary light bounces. So that's gonna optimize so that you can let your GPU shine. So now we're gonna go here, and this is what we're working with currently. I'm gonna go ahead and get a light. We're gonna do a spotlight for this one. I'm gonna hit S to kind of scale it down. And then we're just gonna go ahead, G, move it up here. We just need one very effective spotlight to make this work. So now I'm gonna go ahead and give it a power. I'm gonna give it a power of 10,000. Boom, all right, there it is. Now we have that activated. And what we can do now is you can go ahead and throw in an HDRI. Um, so we'll go here to environment texture, open, and you can go to Polyhaven for, Polyhaven has great free HDRIs. And I'm just gonna throw in this one here and give it a strength of 0.3. All right, so now we have some really cool stuff. We can make this background a black color. And just noticing how quickly this viewport is rendering, um, noise is good, fireflies aren't so evident, but though we're not gonna be dealing with fireflies just yet. I'm bring that roughness up and that's specular to something like this. All right, now let's create a material. So we need to hop back to geometry nodes and tell it to give it two different materials. So I'm gonna hit G and turn off those. All right, so shift A, get a set material node, shift D, do that. Now let's get two materials here, let's get two nodes. So I'm gonna click new, and I wanna make a nice shiny metallic material. And um, so we're gonna call this a misspelled metal. Um, so make that metallic, we can make the roughness down, something like that, and then select it here. And now that selection is gonna show up right there. And then on this other one, Let's just make it regular, just maybe a regular blue. Keep it rough and we'll add that here. And now that's gonna select those two individual, which looks great, nice and cool and fun. And then here on this metal material, we're gonna go here to the metal material and click on the base color. We're gonna to go to the HSV and on the V, let's click two, maybe five. And that's gonna brighten up these reflections so that we can get them to look really cool later. So now we're here, we have the scene. Now we have the scene, I can press play. Now what's great is say you can just wanna pick one section of the song. You can actually do the start frame. So say the part of the song that you like starts at 501. You go 501, enter. Then you can bring this down. 
and maybe go from 500 to 600. And then now you have your section of the song you want to animate. And that's pretty much it. And again, you can do all this in EV and that's going to harness your CPU, which this laptop comes with a great CPU. Um, and just as a reminder what this laptop has, the RTX A1000 i9 CPU, 12th gen. So you're loaded up with some really, really good stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is render out a frame so we can add some compositing and we can be all done with this. So let's go back here to the cycles view to make sure we like how it looks. It looks all right. In fact, I would improve the lighting a little bit. Even this background could be white instead of black and that might improve it a little bit too. Um, but we're just kind of spitballing, maybe add a little blue and then increase that light. Uh, in fact, maybe even that HDRI can come up to one and then maybe make this background slightly different color. But again, I'm just spitballing here. Just make this thing look cool. So now we can hit the render button and uh, let's render this out. All right, so this took 20 seconds to render here in this laptop. Um, that's it, that's all it took. Very powerful laptop again with that NVIDIA graphics card really ripping here. Uh, we can add a little bit of compositing too just to finish it off. And we're gonna go here to the viewer, bring it down here. I'm gonna hit shift and right click so that whatever we put here goes into the composite and the viewer which will go into the animation. Uh, and I'm gonna click fit and we're gonna get a glare node. So that glare node and we're using streaks here. So we're gonna go to streaks of two um, angle 90 degrees, bring that color mod up and that's gonna give you these really cool looking things. Bring that those iterations up too. And then bring that fade up to make it just look really, really cool. And you can actually play with that angle to fit the angle of your discs. So now they're doing that. Um, and then you can go ahead and get another glare node, GL for glare and go from streaks to fog glow. And that's gonna give you a little bit of a glowy, foggy look. It really looks cool. Um, kind of fast and furious looking, if that's a way to describe that. You can bring that mix down so it's not so powerful. And then we can go to rendering. This is our final render. And all you have to do is go ahead and go to this printer icon, select a resolution, select a file where to, so we'll make a new file called M-U-S-I-C-I-C, -I -C, whatever, just call it whatever you want accept and then um, render render animation and let that go out and you'll have a very very cool uh, music visualizer with that being said thank you guys for watching thank you Dell for sponsoring this video I love working with you guys be sure to hit the link in the description check out the creator page uh, a lot of cool stuff on there I encourage you to check that out and with that being said thank you guys for watching